Hi everyone. Uh, you may have seen this project, which is one of my Graphic 45 brand ambassador projects. So I made a tutorial how I used the album in a box kit uh, to make an album inside a box. Now, this was designed to have the album stuck onto the spine there, but I took it and made a cover out of the Graphic 45 a black chipboard so I was able to make this album cover and use the inserts to make a separate album so in, in fact you could have them as two separate projects or put them together as one so this is the one I've shown you before and I have a tutorial for this particular one but I didn't jump straight in I did have a little practice first so let's have a look at my make a splash version so i've got love notes and i've got to make a splash one so i pretty much did the same thing but just gives a totally different feel so we've got this lovely blue dark blue aquas tones and i took the shell page and did lots and lots of fussy cutting so all these shells have been fussy cut and then put behind one of the journal cards, which has been mounted and 3D foamed for some um, depth. And then on the side, we have this magnetic closure and this then is the box. So the box comes ready assembled. I didn't have to do anything. Um, so that's all I did was decorate the box. And you'll see that in the tutorial for the Love Notes one. But my unique selling point for my version of the album in the box is I made a cover, as I said, using the black chipboard. So I can actually take my album out. So the original G45 idea is use the signatures here and have it stuck onto the spine of the box. But say, if you've got some of this chipboard, make a cover separate and then you've got two projects for the price of one. You've got your album and you've got a box, but of course, album in a box is just perfect. So when you open this box, you do have a pocket already attached. And I've got a little photo cards, which again, I'd show you in the tutorial. So you can pop it behind there, or you can put your four by four photos in there. Again, I fussy cut this out of one of the pages and the shells around i did add extra no i didn't add extra shells there that just came as it was but here on the cover i have added extra fussy cut shells down the right hand side because i really did like this one i know this was just my practice my uh, test run one but i think it turned out lovely the joy of this is you can actually have a pattern continuation all the way across so if you've got an image you want to go all the way across you could uh, the box is already lined in black, so I didn't have to do anything. I just put one of the image sheets in there. So that is the box. Nice and easy, but I do go through all the measurements and stuff in the tutorial. So have a look in the description below for a link to the tutorial. And as I said, I'll give you all the measurements there. And then the album itself. So I've used that seaweed paper, so it goes all the way across. And then just use one of the image sheets there. Then we open it up. And most of this I've kept quite simple here. I've used a cool cat's die here, which is their pierced photo slot. So if you have a look, it's a die which you can place anywhere on your sheet, as long as it fits through your die cutter machine then, your paper does. And it cuts a slot with piercing going all the way around the two circles and round. And when you glue it, you glue the top, but you don't glue the bottom, which means you can use it as a pocket. So this photo mat fits three by four. So it's a three and a quarter by four, a three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So you can see it fits nicely in there. And if I'd wanted to make it invisible, the waist I could have glued back in. But I quite like that you can see this time with the black. And then you can tuck it in. And I do go through how to make these as well, the measurements for these. 
and the front is a little bit shorter than the other two. So what I do is I can tuck it in and the short edge, which ends here, just goes over the top and then we've got one of the journal cards there. And I said, all the pockets have been stuck down already for me. It's just a case of decorating. So we've got a horizontal pocket there. Then we open it up. And you can really go to town with your pattern continuation. I could have even done it on the spine if I wanted to there. And then these bits flap up. So you've got a tuck spot in there. And you've got a tuck spot there. As you see, perfect for three by four photos, even though that's a bit bigger because it's a photo mat. So you'll fit them in nice and easy. Uh, something I did find useful, and I did a few of them for this album, are my covered paper clips. So these use eight by eight paper. So I was able to make uh, three, four of them from one sheet of my eight by eight. So I had a sheet, le sheet left over. And it's a paper clip that we can then go over. So it meant that I could put photos or memorabilia in and take them out. Now, if you want to know how I make mine, um, I'll add a, a link to the description, a link in the description to that tutorial for you to go and find. But as you can see, it's just a great way of having space for more photos without gluing them in. So you can change them as and when you want. And because it's a paper clip, of course, it'll fit both sides. In the tutorial then, I also show you how this central uh, page is a pocket, but it comes with this little half circle cut out. So you can put your photos, photo mat straight in there. So I'll show you how I make my mat and layer and have it nice and laid. So we've got the black going all the way around and continuing. Right, so, so that's the paper, same paper as I used on the cover. I just love that one. I do like the tone on tones, the dark blue on the blue from the patterns and solids type papers on the scales. It's just lovely because it ties in with everything. Here, I've used more Cool Cats dies just to make a little magnetic closure. So it lifts up. So it's used the brad flap dies, but without the brad flap part. So still a flap, but I've used magnets instead. So you can put your photo cards in there and then just close it and the magnet holds it in place. Then we open it up. We've got a belly band here and another one of these photo cards. So this time it'll hold three by four photos in landscape mode. And again, using one of the journal cards as decoration. So really quick, really easy, but a way of adding five more photos and then just tucking it using that border strip there. And then another one of my covered paper clips so that we can add bits and take them out and works on both sides. Here we've got a pattern continuation which works well with these mermaids so the hair carries on and a horizontal uh, sorry vertical pocket so we can tuck one of those photo cards in there and again pretty much the same pattern continuation space on the left and another one of the paper clips tuck over and again, works both sides. And then the back is the same as the front, just one of those cool cat styes tucked in like so. So that is the run through version of my Graphic 45 brand ambassador project using the love notes. And yeah, as I said, this kit is already made for you. The only extra thing I did then was the cover itself. And yeah, everything else was already done. So it's just a case of decorating. If you want a quick project, or if you're just beginning to um, get into albums, then a great place to start. So keep an eye out for the tutorial. 
hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up. The subscribe button will let you know then when the tutorial has gone on to my channel. And then also um, thumbs up and comments help me build my channel. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all again soon.